Given the world we live in today, any conversation about affordable housing must include how that housing is going to be insured and protected. Garrett Marr is the Managing Director of Franklin Street Insurance Services, a leader in multifamily affordable insurance. Franklin Street's forecasting and research knowledge defines industry best practices. Please welcome Garrett to tell us more about ensuring affordable housing of the future. Hey everyone, it's, uh, it's, it's an honor to be here. Uh, like Nancy said, my name is Garrett Marr. Um, on behalf of Franklin Street, we have several members of our team here this evening. It's the partnership that we have with NHP is, is it's hard to put into words how, uh, how much we appreciate the opportunity we've had over the past few years to really work hand-in-hand uh, -hand with them on every aspect of uh, insurance and, and overall risk management. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't have any slides because really the only slides that I would have would be a chart showing costs going up, and I don't think anybody in here really wants to just uh, harp on that point. So, uh, you know, and try to keep this brief, it's really insurance is an industry that's not exactly right for, for one that's uh, – fine with change and there's a lot of industries that don't love change but insurance is one that has changed in a way where you know looking at the future it's 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 almost like you need a counterintuitive of change um, going forward and insurance is really focused on data and models and and all these things that are they're still very important will always be important as they evolve and become more accurate but you know the issues almost begin to lack the human element right uh, especially when you talk about affordable housing. One of the biggest issues that we see uh, as an insurance broker that does a, a lot of affordable housing is that there's a misconception and a misunderstanding. Um, insurance companies just don't understand the benefits, right? They just focus on, okay, where is it? Is it in, a cri in an area that has higher crime? Is it an area that has susceptible to you know, extreme weather events from climate change or whatever it might be? And it focuses on that. And what's missing is the focus on what's the story, right? And so. What has to happen going forward is not just obviously improvements in, in technology and modeling and data, but it's really about telling the story of you know groups like NHPF, Operation Pathways. I mean, thankfully for so many people in this country, they offer you know, and, and many people in this room work in an industry where they're offering essential services and sustainable housing for you know for many many residents who need it most, right? And what we've seen is um, as part of that human element, a lot of it's gonna come down to advocacy, right? So when I say advocacy, I mean really pushing insurance companies to be more transparent. When you look at insurance companies, a lot of times you send them something, I mean, if anybody who's dealt with insurance uh, for their portfolio or a single property or even their house, it's uh, always declined because of whatever, or the company's not renewing because of some reason that's vague and doesn't make any sense. It's like, okay, well, we need to tear those walls down and understand what, what is the reason. We create transparency, understand the why. Why do they not want to handle affordable housing? It's, it's, I don't think there's an intention of avoiding it or, or not providing coverage that makes sense, that's protecting the tenants and protecting the owners alike. But what it does is it just, it's, it's just causes issues from top to bottom. And so the goal of understanding the why is so then we can then educate. That's the second point. We need to educate insurance companies about what are the benefits of affordable housing, telling the story not just on a deal by deal or portfolio by portfolio level, but telling it across the industry, right? There's obviously uh, events that are due to climate change, extreme weather events that take place. We, that, is, that is out of our control. Um, but we focus on things that we can't control. And so once these insurance companies are educated, and, that's what, and that, again, that's what we aim to do every single day, but once they're educated, then we can say, okay, how do we initiate collaboration between the private insurance market and the government to create not just collaboration and in ensuring affordable housing, but in, in incentivizing investment in affordable housing at the same time. Um, you know, and then kind of taking it a step further, you know, you have uh, kind of going back to where innovation in data and technology, uh, in a lot of ways, just kind of really scratching the surface is a technology that allows affordable housing owners and developers to use, uh, when, when they're looking at doing, developing a new property, doing a rehab on an existing asset that needs, uh, that's, you know, tax credits are to be placed on it. It's, you are able to look at an asset and understand, okay, what do we need to do to 
make sure this building can sustain climate change or, and, and our uh, extreme weather that's as a result of climate change far into the future? How can we build, you know, put infrastructure at the, at, you know, at the property level to raise it out of flood zones prior to development? And what can be done, you know, long term to ensure that housing, despite extreme events which are inevitable, how can we ensure that these assets are going to sustain? Because no one should be punished simply based on the state in which they live or the city in which they live or whatever it might be. Everyone is entitled and housing is a necessity for all, for everyone. It is a, it's one of the most important issues that we face today. I mean, that's why we're all here. We're all passionate about this issue. And, uh, you know, it's kind of in closing. I mean, it, we all can do something, right? The advocacy, the human element, telling the story, changing starts, not just, not just at the federal level, it's not the state level, it's the local level. Insurance, you can make a difference. And that's what we really push to do. I mean, we've been able to, uh, I, don't, I don't think I've ever heard really, M Mansur, uh, you know, to say, to quote him, he said it to me a few different times, said it to us is, uh, I don't want to be right, I want to get it right. And so we work together to find solutions and, and we can all be part of that solution. So thank you everybody.